जय श्री कृष्ण ओके आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट माई न्यू बुक फ्रॉम द लास्ट टिल द लास्ट टाइम वी मेट एंड आई मस्ट थैंक यू फॉर द ओवरवेलमिंग रिप्लाइज दैट आई गॉट आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू लाइक इट बट एज आई टोल्ड यू इट वॉज जस्ट अ बोल्ड फ्रॉम द ब्लू टू राइट एंड सो द पेन स्टार्ट इट कंटिन्यूइंग आई एम गोइंग टू रीड द लास्ट पैराग्राफ that i said in my last recording so that we get the continuity so i i wrote i move ahead move with my hand firmly in his and then i said let us talk of surrender relinquishing that's a rough topic to tough topic to tackle but let's try our mind is trained to be active to do something but in this case after having after having done all you could don't do just be being passive is death for the ego thoughts will then by and by cease they will stop allow what is happening to happen don't interfere receptivity is always passive you are not going to create the truth the truth is already there what you are is already there just wait being active for the world is good but what is helpful for the world is not so helpful when you move into god unto the universe surrender is always unto the unknown only be aware fall in love with the cosmos with the viraj swarup the life force of lord krishna and watch miracles unfold and now i continue but to surrender to life one must perforce be fearless how does one achieve that state of being fearless if one thinks and goes deep within oneself to learn from our own experiences one does conclude that one has little choice but to surrender to life and whatsoever it will bring after having done whatsoever one could in the situation i believe which is do your best and leave the rest but my wise belief is borrowed from what lord krishna states in the gita lord krishna reminds arjun that he only has a right over his actions not over the fruits thereof krishna urges arjuna to perform his dharma the best way he knows how and to surrender the results to the lord but what about fear read the following It is said that before entering the sea a river trembles with fear. She looks back at the path she has traveled from the peaks to the mountains, the long winding road crossing forests and villages. And in front of her she sees an ocean so vast that to enter there seems to nothing more than to disappear forever. The river is now afraid to enter the ocean, but there is no other way. The river cannot go back. the river needs to take the risk of entering the ocean only then will the fear disappear because that is where the river will know it is not about disappearing into the ocean but of becoming the ocean and i have we have heard that that the best way to get off from fear is to just do what you are afraid of you will not learn to swim until you get into the water you can read as many manuals as you like and then i continue i believe that the need to write comes with hope hope to inspire hope for a better existence a better world a more peaceful one one in which we learn to coexist in which it finally dawns upon us that we share the same planet and it has to survive if we need to maybe when i see my words on paper i understand myself better when i read what i have written i become clearer to myself and then most of the time for me at least when i realize that what i feel is true then i share it and then the complex world becomes clearer to the reader when he is able to see the world and himself in a clearer light then i feel that i have scored and i realize that the pen is truly more powerful than the sword So let us talk about fear. Parents urged us not to be afraid. They wanted us to become achievers and walk boldly on in the face of adversity. 
Don't be afraid of the dark. Walk on your own, they said silently, while suddenly letting go of her hand as we toddled along. But then, contradicting themselves, they taught us not to trust strangers instantly and not to cross roads while distracted. We grew up confused. But soon we learned to walk the line between fear and fearlessness. However, parents and children continue to remain uncertain as to, fear, as to what to fear and what not to. The truth is that there are no guarantees. If you don't take that step forward for fear of falling, you will never learn to walk. I have read that there is no shame in falling in the mud, but there is in not getting up and continuing to walk. Try and try again until you succeed or move on. Don't look back. We all have heard those wise instructions often enough, but think. Only that child succeeds who applies those instructions to their life and continues to walk and stand tall in his own image. So, do, so what if people criticize you or talk about you? Haven't you heard the song, Kuch to log kahenge, logo ka kaam hai kehna. And then, Chodo bekar ki baaton ko kahi beet na jai rehna. Meaning people will talk, that is their job. Don't waste this beautiful night thinking about useless things. Now let us understand fear. Some fears are necessary. Fear helps us to perform better, to change the situation for the better. Think about it. When you are afraid of examinations, it may goad you to prepare earlier. Gandhiji did not like the way Indians were treated on their own soil. The fear of that condition persisting made him work towards India's independence. Yet many fears one need to fight against, those that makes us withdraw from life, those that do not allow us to face a situation. Maybe we fear the outcome. That outcome we may imagine will be of failure or of ridicule. We fear as to what people will think of us. I have heard that ships may be safest while docked, but ships were made to sail on the high seas. Fearlessness does not mean lack of fear. It means that you are able to conquer the fear and rise above it. I believe that I never lose. I either win or learn. So I go right ahead and take the jump into the unknown. And whether I win or lose in other people's eyes, I always win in my own. Rabindranath Tagore says, Let me not pray to be sheltered from dangers, but to be fearless when facing them. So this is the, sec the part two of my book. I hope you enjoy reading it. I hope it inspires you a little. I hope you read it when you have to think of relinquish relinqu relinquishment, that is surrender, and when you are afraid. But until next time, you take care and God bless.